Hey everybody and welcome to this video where we talk about two of my favorite things, exercise and anti-aging. I'm going to share my screen with you and you'll understand what I mean by this in a second. Okay, so this is based on a paper with regards to how exercise can be the most powerful anti-aging tool at your disposal. This is the abstract of the paper on which I am basing this talk. Um, so what they're saying is that the beneficial effects of exercise are mediated through eliminating senescent cells. Senescent cells is a big topic in anti-aging research. You may have heard of them referred to as zombie cells. Zombie cells is the same as senescent cells. Those are cells that can no longer function normally like a regular cell and can no longer divide normally. And so they just stay there instead of completely dying. They just sit there and unfortunately, they're constantly releasing inflammatory mo molecules into your body. And so over time, you accumulate those zombie cells or senescent cells. And so over time, you have an increase overall increase in inflammatory markers as you age and that's one of the major drivers of aging so the way that exercise seems to have all of its positive effects on our health is mainly by reversing our age by preventing the accumulation of zombie cells, but also destroying whatever zombie cells or senescent cells you already have. So exercise counters multiple forms of age-related molecular damage that initiate the senescence program. And so exercise makes it harder for your body to kickstart the zombie cell creation. And also exercise activates immune cells that are responsible for zombie cell clearance. So at the same time, exercise helps trigger your immune system to come and destroy those zombie cells and clear them away. And so this is a quote from the article, exercise may act in part by preventing the accumulation and augmenting the clearance of senescent cells or zombie cells. This is one of the main ways you actually get to experience all the benefits of extra exercise from lower blood pressure to lower heart disease to lower cancer rates. All those things really happen because it's targeting the aging process and slowing it down and at times reversing it. So one of the main triggers of zombie cell accumulation or senescence is DNA damage. And human trials have shown that exercise is associated with a 25% increase in DNA repair in your white blood cells or lymphocytes. So when you exercise, you don't have as much damage because you can recover the damage at a higher rate than somebody else who's sedentary, specifically at a 25% increased rate. Exercise has also been shown to increase the resilience of your DNA and telomeres, I'll explain, against damage-inducing stimuli. So exercise helps prevent your DNA from getting damaged in the first place from things like environmental toxins or consuming the wrong foods like sugars and carbs and seed oils. And telomeres, exercise helps maintain your telomeres. That's another major way it slows down and reverses the aging process. What are telomeres? Telomeres are kind of like um, how you have those plastic caps at the ends of your shoelaces. And so those plastic caps prevent your shoelaces from fraying. Telomeres are similar, only they are at the ends of your chromosomes, right? And so they help protect your chromosomes. And Every time your cells divide and as you age, the length of the telomeres shorten and shorten and shorten gradually until eventually they're not there anymore, which means you don't have protection for your DNA, which means now you have DNA damage happening, which means DNA damage, as we mentioned, triggers zombie cells creation and propagation. And so exercise prevents telomeres um, or makes telomeres much 
more resilient so they don't shorten as quickly or as much and so that means you your dna is better protected for a longer period of time that's another pathway right there also mitochondria the mitochondria is one of the single most important drivers of longevity healthy mitochondria and damaged mitochondria is associated with accelerated aging so dysfunctional mitochondria also induce zombie cells or senescent cells exercise boosts health and the quantity of your mitochondria so it's a very direct effect on improving your mitochondrial health when you exercise which means now you have you're less likely to um, stimulate zombie cell production exercise restores as well aging induced deficits in autophagy um, what is autophagy autophagy is when your cells clean up anything that is no longer functioning optimally so when the cells clean up or remove damaged um, organelles and dysfunctional mitochondria from within it we call that autophagy and this is a major major um, driver of, uh, of, of uh, longevity. So the more autophagy you have in your cells, the longer you're going to live. And as you age, you struggle to clean up your cells as well. So now as you age, you have aging induced deficits in autophagy. Exercise prevents that from happening. So exercise allows your cells to naturally be able to clean up its interior of anything it no longer needs at an optimal level. And another way that exercise helps is by dampening inflammation. So as you age, it's so aging is associated with elevated inflammatory molecules that are being secreted. And actually those inflammatory molecules are secreted from the zombie cells this is one of the main reasons why zombie cells age you is because they don't just sit there. They're constantly releasing inflammation. And so as you age, you have more zombie cells, which means more secretion of those inflammatory molecules. And so now you have a state of heightened inflammation just at rest, like all the time. We call that sterile inflammation. Why? Because there is no infection. There is no active infection present, but yet you are in a state of inflammation. Why? because of those zombie cells producing all those inflammatory molecules. Well, exercise suppresses sterile inflammation. And so what did the authors conclude? Exercise is arguably the most effective means to extend human health span. And this evidence that they laid out in the paper supports the hypothesis that exercise prevents the age-associated accumulation of senescent cells which is one of one of the main ways how exercise is so powerful against um, accelerate the aging and how it can not only slow down dramatically aging but potentially even reverse it and this is my instagram if you want to connect and this is my website drsarazaldivar.com and it's got all the coaching packages outlined in it and the references are found at uh, the last slide and also they are linked below also my website and all my links everything is linked in the description box below so i hope you found this information valuable i love anti-aging and i have a bunch of anti-aging videos i actually have a whole playlist if you go to my homepage on youtube and you scroll all the way down you'll find the anti-aging playlist so you can watch so many additional similar topics um but yeah stay tuned for more on that and if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit that little notification bell icon so youtube alert you every time i post a new video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one